नाउ वागीश आई नो योर ट्रिक हाउ टू फिल द रूम अवार्ड इतने ज्यादा दे दो कि रूम भर जाएगा और ओवरफ्लो हो जाएगा और सभी लोग आ जाएंगे मैं सोच रहा था मेरे को सुनने के लिए लोग आए यहाँ पे बट अभी लग रहा है कि अवार्ड लेने आए तो बट थैंक यू एनी वेज वागीश फॉर मेकिंग मी फील गुड थैंक यू सुचित्रा गारू फॉर फ्लाइंग इन फ्रॉम बैंगलोर आई हैव टू रिमाइंड यू दैट दिस इज योर बेस भारत इज हिया so you should not go to bangalore and vizag very often you should stay here more often do more business write more checks continue to expand continue to create more vaccines continue to consolidate our position as a vaccine capital of the world thank you very much yes absolutely very 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 often and thank you for writing a check yesterday as well jalachari was there uh, you know for the sanya mirza uh, farewell exhibition uh, match thank you very much for that as well jayesh the other jayesh thank you jayesh um, we have uh, my principal secretary jayesh ranjan the incoming chairman shekhar reddy garu and of course our visitor guest from uh, kerala who was uh, who i dragged on incidentally because you know he was telling me some very interesting things so i thought you all should hear from uh, you know a gentleman who's investing in our state a gentleman who values our state and who's been doing tremendous things and uh, creating tremendous employment opportunities in our state as well so thank you sabu jacob garu for all the kind words you had and for all the nice things you've said about our state the investment situation etc here and to all the award winners congratulations those who haven't win, won the awards still uh, congratulations to you as well because i'm sure there is plenty that vagish has uh, who which he will be sharing with you in days to come since this is my um, last meeting before this election uh before the next general election that is the last cii annual meeting let me also do my fiduciary responsibility and ask you to vote me back to power and ensure that we come back as a government uh, in 2023 i'm guessing i'm guessing by the applause that i'll come back so i'm 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 hopeful um quickly i'll just um, I, ha- i do have a written speech vagish but zyada nahi jaunga usme um Yes, quickly. I am sure you've been following what all has been happening in Telangana in the last uh, few weeks, few months, couple of months, in fact, and some very, very interesting and exciting things happening. We just concluded uh, Bio Asia, which is uh, Asia's one of Asia's largest premier events, and some very exciting things have unfolded there. In fact, um, back in 21, 2021, in the midst of the pandemic, we had conducted Bio Asia in a virtual mode. and we made a commitment to ourselves that the current ecosystem valuation back then 2021 of life sciences industry in telangana and hyderabad and telangana not hyderabad alone but telangana was about 50 billion dollars and we'll double it by 2030 was what the ambition that we had set for ourselves but you know what happened sometimes you know is 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 really good uh from 50 billion in 2020 we actually went to 80 billion in 2022 so a 30 billion increase in just about two to two, two and a half years which was a huge surprise for us as well because i think after the pandemic the world has realized that we need to invest more in healthcare we need to invest more in life sciences we need to ensure that this brilliant industry which saves lives needs to be focused on so therefore governments across the world i think uh, institutions across the world individuals across the world have started investing more and more in life sciences and therefore the valuation just jumped from 50 to 80 billion in a span of two and a half years so we had the good problem good challenge of resetting our target because you know the 100 billion dot target that we had set for ourselves by 2030 we are now going to be shooting it through in 2025 five years ahead of schedule so therefore we said okay now let's actually challenge ourselves more let's do a revised target now what we've come out with is to ensure that this 80 billion industry today becomes a 250 billion industry by 2030 it's audacious it's audacious it's bold it's ambitious but i think it's imminently doable the reason why i say this is because today hyderabad and telangana have so many strengths that we can consolidate that we can build on and that we can continue to leverage on one of the things i will tell you is of course the vaccine industry and how hyderabad today is the vaccine capital of the world 35% of world vaccines are produced from hyderabad in fact 9 billion doses are produced from hyderabad and come next year with all the expansion happening in the city with bharat with biologically with sanofi 
with Indian immunologicals and others. In fact, Serum is now setting up a center of excellence here. So all of this combined will take us to almost 14 billion doses by hopefully end of next year. Thank you.